If you've played Phantom Forces at all, which chances are if you're on this channel, you probably have, you may know that there are some pretty crazy weapon builds that you're able to make. And some of the attachments in this game, in their own right, are just super unique. But others, they really make me wonder sometimes. So today, I want to take a look at some of those attachments that are just not normal. And can they actually be useful? Make sure to watch until the end as well, because there's some really crazy things in this game that you just may not have seen yet. And with that, let's get right into the video. So I'm actually going to start with something that probably a lot of people are going to end up knowing about, which is the AMT Terminator. It's basically a copy of the site that was from the Terminator movies, which had like a 1911 with like a crazy red dot laser sight thingy on it. But contrary to how this looks, this isn't actually a scope. <laughs> if you've seen this before, you know where this is going. Pretty much what it is, is it is just a laser sight that goes on the top rail of your gun and just allows you to like, I guess, hip fire-ish kind of thing. You're like shouldering the weapon, but you're not quite putting your face up against it. And honestly, this ends up being something that a lot of people like. Now, of course, one of the main reasons being that you're basically getting a laser pointer and you're not having your screen obstrued by any like other parts of a sight, basically. So you're getting like a much, much wider field of view here. And it's relatively easy to see where the dot is in the middle of your screen right there. You know, where the lasers are, that's where your bullets are going to go. Not that complicated. It's basically allowing you to hip fire, but you're basically just still having a laser beam in the center. Not that complicated of a concept. I'm pretty sure that we've all used or at least seen the AMT Terminator. But there is actually a sight that requires a lot less kills, but is a little bit newer to the game, that being the OEG sight. It's relatively the same concept. You can see it has a similar form factor at least. But whenever you aim, instead of actually having the laser at all times, you have this little red dot as you aim. And what I mean by little red dot is this gargantuan disc that sits right in the middle. But the downside is obviously that you can't really hip fire with this very well because of the fact that you don't actually have that in the middle at all times. You're pretty much getting like a standard scope and how it works just without the scope being in your face. And I gotta be honest, it, it's, it's a little bit weird. Obviously, it requiring a little bit less kills to unlock on all guns basically is like, yeah, you're getting a little bit worse of an anti-terminator. But honestly, for me, I kind of like it a little bit more. Something about just having a much larger dot makes it feel like it's a little bit easier to actually aim and get kills with. And I, I just kind of enjoy it a little bit more for that. I'm honestly a little bit surprised, though, that I don't really see this more. It doesn't really require that many less kills, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Just, you know, big dot. Definitely weird, though. I mean, you can even see... <laughs> you can even see where the dot's going to be in the uh, the previous screen for it. That's that's funny. I've never noticed that before. But oh, we're not done with the weird sights. No, 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 we're not. Definitely not. Have you ever wanted your gun to be a giant flashlight? Have you ever wanted to blind your enemies so bad that they can't even see you whenever you're shooting at them? Well, then the mag light is going to be for you. Because this is one that I have seen maybe a total of like two times on other people's weapons. It's just, it, it's not useful. Also, uh, I'm just going to attach a bunch of flashlights on it because who cares at this point? So pretty much all that the mag light does is it actually is just like, what the what are you doing, bro? I I, <laughs> I think you can kind of guess what it does. It's the same concept of the AMT Terminator in the OEG site, where it is basically a massive thing on top of your gun that you don't actually look down, but it's it's literally just a flashlight. I mean, <laughs> it's literally just a giant flashlight that you slap like a Picatinny rail onto, and it's on the top of your gun. Now there's <laughs> there's actually a couple of downsides to using this. So just like the others, which I haven't gone over yet, is the fact that these are actually cut down sight magnification. So you're pretty much like not even really aiming in. It just, it, it's, <laughs> you're just shouldering the weapon. But also because it's not either of the other two sights, you don't actually have like a point of aim unless you have another laser on the weapon in the first place. And your only point of reference is going to be where your tracers are going from your weapon. And if you know how to look where the middle of your screen is. You know what the best part about this is too, is we don't really have any like particularly dark maps. I understand that there is a day night cycle that's dawn by default in this game, but it never gets dark enough in my personal experience anyway to make it where a flashlight is needed, let alone one uh, glued to the top of your weapon. Actually, wait a minute. That just, that, that just gave me an idea. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? All right, I did it. So if you have tracerless on a weapon too, which I basically never see, well, you can still kind of see the rounds, but it, it's pretty much removing your only point of aim. So at that point, you're just holding left click until you hopefully get at least a 19 assist. <laughs> oh, that was painful. <laughs> that was extra, extra painful. Oh, you. There's actually one way that you can make the mag light worse, if I remember correctly, and that's with the MP510, because this natively has a flashlight on it already. So you can put on two more flashlights, so there's already three there, and I don't own the mag light, but you can see there's a total of four flashlights on this. I just, I, I don't see a need for this. So real quick, I'm just going to show you what it looks like whenever a map is dark. This is what it looks like with the flashlights. It, it, it's not, it's not helpful. <laughs> now, but of course, one that I'm going to regret purchasing, I'm sure, is going to be the Plague Insight, which I basically have never seen before on anyone else's weapons. I'm actually going to go to a slightly larger map for this because I'll be able to show you a bit more of how this site is intended to be used. So whenever they first added this site about a year or two ago, I, I didn't really see the purpose in this. The main reason is because of the fact that it's just kind of like, it's not really an ugly site, it's just weird looking, I guess. And whenever you try and use this, uh, I'll show you here, recoil just seems 
extremely chaotic. I think that's mostly due to the fact, though, that it just zooms in so far. Because, oh god, that was, that was bad. That was bad. You can still see that you're able to, like, hit your shots and stuff. Especially on a gun like the C7A2, which is pretty much just a laser beam at all times. But what if I told you that this is actually a scope? I, I, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going crazy, trust me. So if you're aiming down the sight and you press your alt aim key, which is T, you'll see that you zoom out, but it puts you in this, like, scope mode. That says, I, I, I don't, oh, Stylus Studios around it. Okay, very funny, very silly. But now, what's the point of having that? You, you, you literally have zero recoil. <laughs> It's it's literally zero recoil. I, I don't know why it's it's like that. It's it's just it's weird. I don't know. But this is basically like a very expensive version of the DCL 120 because this requires just about 4,000 kills to buy. On the off chance that you don't know what the DCL 120 is, it is a ginormous reflex sight that goes on the top of your gun, and it basically brings recoil down to nothing. Hello, goodbye. Dude, and, and I mean, this is this is just not normal. It's like, it's completely different from the other ones that I've gone over because you can actually aim down this one. What the? Uh, teammate, hello? <laughs> Bro, they, this man was sitting right next to you and you didn't even notice him. Oh, silly teammates. I wonder what happens if you combine this with the ballistics tracker. Dude, it's, it's literally a straight up laser beam. It's literally a straight up laser beam. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I forgot that the phone on the C7A2 goes on the bottom for the ballistics tracker. So yeah, with the normal, I guess, like, reflex kind of view, it's just normal. And then with this mode, it, it just it it just looks normal, too. It's just like, yeah, it's literally just a normal ballistics tracker. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was going to have, like, some kind of different feature or something for it. But oh well, take your laser pointing abilities to another level with being able to just, like, spot out people. Whatever. Looking through the advanced tab, it doesn't actually seem to have any properties that allows it to be a laser beam like that. And I think it might just have something to do with the fact that when it's more zoomed in, the recoil is a little bit more noticeable. Well, here, let me, let me try it on something else. Let me put it on, like, the, uh, the MG30. So of course, yeah, like I said, recoil is kind of high. Why do people just jump into my crosshair, dude? But then if I switch to the other scope mode here, yeah, I, I think it's mostly just to do with the fact that it's like, it, it basically zooms out whenever you kind of like look into the, uh, as it's described, the bloodshot covered rage. Either way, it's still kind of a cool sight. I do actually have a bonus one that's not really necessarily bad or weird. It's just, no, it, well, no, it is weird. And that would be the EOTech M40. Oh, you can't see what's weird about it yet? <laughs> it's on the side of your gun. Now, I've yet to find much of a practical use actually for this sight because, I mean, it's just like a, like a typical reflex. It's just on the side of your gun. I mean, because, like, whenever you're just looking down it, it's it's just it's just a normal reflex. I mean, you get kills with it. What, uh, what more do you want? It doesn't require too, too many kills. But again, there's, like, there's literally so many better options. You literally slap on, like, a freaking Delta sight. Take 60 kills to get. Boom. You're good to go. What is so different about having a sight like this as opposed to a sight like this? Okay. Uh... <laughs> In reading the description, I understand now. I guess, honestly, that's that's kind of it for the sights. I mean, there's a lot of, like, interesting sights in this game, but these are definitely ones that I'd consider to be very, very weird. Or just kind of, like, different in use case. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much the end of the video. Let me know in the comment section if you've used any of these before and which one of them is your favorite. But yes, if you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, make sure to subscribe with channel notifications on. Big thank you to all the channel members that you can see up on screen right now. They help to support the channel financially, and if you'd like to become a channel member yourself, you can do so for as low as a dollar a month with the join button on my channel or at the top of the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, you could click on the playlist up on screen right now where you can see all my Phantom Forces videos if you want a good binging session, or you could click on this other recommended video next to it. Big thanks for watching to the end. Hope you enjoyed, and Enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe for more. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs>